Hey, this is Jax here at FreeAutomechanic.com. Today, we're going to see about recharging the AC system. Uh, first thing you want to do is pop your hood. Uh, this is a 2002 Ford Ranger. And you can see the label. It'll show you how much the system contains. Roughly two pounds, just under two pounds. Uh, this air conditioning system had a new compressor installed a year or so ago. We're just going to go ahead and recharge it and see how long it lasts. We're going to try a new product today. Product is Easy Chill Auto AC and Charge with Leak Sealer. So we're going to test this out, see just how well this leak sealer works. You can read the instructions, they're on the back of the can. First thing you want to do is turn, turn the AC system on. So you want to go ahead and put it to max AC. And if your vehicle has a recirculation feature, then go ahead and activate that as well. This one does not, so we're not going to worry about that. The fan doesn't really make a difference, but you want to make sure you have it on cold. Next thing you want to do is find your low pressure AC port. Now I did turn the engine off. It should be running for this, but I wanted you to be able to hear what I was saying. Closer to your accumulator anyway, which is right over here. So take that off. Still do the same thing. Lift up. Put that down. Make sure it seals up pretty good and you can see no pressure whatsoever on the gauge so we know it's leaked leaked out pretty good um, next step is going to be to unscrew the can and remove this tab once you have the tab removed just set it to the side you won't need it again and screw the can back on Now with the engine running, you're going to press down on this button to release the gas. You can see it's allowing the refrigerant to go in. You're going to let it flow in for a few seconds. You let off, you can see it's building up. Turn down again, you can feel the can getting kind of cold, you're going to shake it. Go ahead and shake the can a little bit. That gets the sealant that's in there mixed in with the Freon. You don't want to hold it for longer than 10 seconds. And then let off. Shake the can again. You can see it's feels pretty good and cold I don't know if you can hear it but the compressor just kicked on for a split second that means it's System is getting full enough to activate the compressor, and see the, the pressure pulls down. Each time the compressor activates, it pulls that pressure back down. Again, every 10 seconds, just shake it up again. And then continue. This is what's referred to as short cycling. 
So it just kicks on for a split second and then kicks back off. That's an indication that the system is still pretty low. And you want to continue filling it. So I'll go back. Take the can up. Press the lever down. Allow it to continue to fill. And this can take a little bit of time. And you want to continue doing this until it becomes more steady. Still letting off about every 10 to 15 seconds. Taking the time to shake the can up. You can see it's, when it does cycle, it stays on a little bit longer, but it's still short cycling. But when it pulls down, it's pulling down into the low. So you want to keep filling it until when it pulls down it stays into the green whenever you let off the trigger Now the can is almost completely empty. You see the pressure builds. And it's almost staying in the green. But you remember I said it holds almost two pounds. And this can only contains one point one pound two ounces, so not quite enough. If we look at our compressor, we can see with the short cycling, it's once it kicks on, it compresses a whole lot longer than it once did. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's just still a little bit low on freon. So we're going to have to remove that can and install another can. And I've got another can here. 12 ounce can plus the one pound two ounces that's going to give us one pound 14 ounces so it should take this an entire whole can to fill the system if, since it was completely empty like when we started so all you're going to have to do is the same thing just unscrew the can the self-sealing can so you don't have to worry about anything spilling out if you didn't get it quite exactly empty but you'll notice it feels pretty empty and the can, the can itself is no longer cold whenever you mash on the lever. So that's a pretty good indication that it's empty. So we'll go ahead and swap that out. Just like the other can, you just screw it right back in. And proceed with it just like you did before. Shake it, it still feels a little cold, so I know there's just a little bit left in there. We turn it upside down. Get every last little drop. If you can see that you can see that it's starting to frost up a little bit. Get on in there. At this point we can go ahead and see how cold it is inside. Oh yeah, nice and icy cold coming out the dash. 